more than 50 years. Eight satellites, millions of images, millions of stories. For over half a century, Landsat satellites have been watching over our planet from space. A lasting partnership between NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey that's provided an invaluable historic record of Earth's changing landscapes. From the lush, green canopies of the Amazon forest to the sun-baked sands of the Saharan Desert, the images captured by Landsat have offered us a unique perspective of our world's diverse landscapes and how they're changing. But the dazzling Landsat imagery you're seeing right now is only one piece of a much larger puzzle that Landsat data helps us put together. Imagine if you could see beyond what's visible to the human eye, beyond the visible spectrum, like the ability to detect heat, moisture, and even chemical compositions. It sounds impressive because it is, and that's exactly what Landsat was made for. Our eyes can only see in a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum, a narrow band of colors we call visible light. But Landsat satellites go beyond, capturing solar energy reflected off of Earth's surface in the visible spectrum, as well as infrared and thermal energy. By detecting light in specific ranges of wavelengths, commonly referred to as spectral bands, Landsat gives us insights into our world that would otherwise be invisible to the human eye. For example, let's say we want to monitor the health of crops. Healthy plants reflect near-infrared light strongly, while unhealthy or stressed plants reflect much less in this part of the spectrum. By observing changes in near-infrared light, Landsat can help farmers identify where crops may be stressed, helping them take action before a minor issue develops into a major problem. The first generation of Landsat satellites, Landsats 1, 2, and 3, were able to capture data across four spectral bands in the visible and near-infrared regions, thanks to its revolutionary multi-spectral scanner. Over the decades, each new generation of Landsat satellites has increased the number and variety of spectral bands its instruments can observe, enhancing our ability to monitor Earth's surface in greater depth and detail. Today, Landsats 8 and 9 orbit our planet, capturing data across 11 spectral bands, that allows us to monitor vegetation health, assess water quality, map land use, and much, much more. And as USGS and NASA prepare for the next chapter in the Landsat program, they're looking to bring Earth observation into a brand new era with the Landsat Next mission. Boasting a trio of satellites, increased temporal frequency, and spatial resolution, Landsat Next will be able to observe the surface of our planet like never before. And building on the existing 11 bands of Landsats 8 and 9, the Landsat Next mission will be super spectral, adding 15 spectral bands carefully selected to meet emerging needs and unlock new applications to benefit humanity. Let's take a close look at how these new spectral bands will revolutionize our understanding of planet Earth. The first band on the list, band 1, is located at the beginning of the spectrum of visible light. This band is specially designed to detect fine particles in the atmosphere, like dust, smoke, or pollution, making it an essential tool for monitoring air quality. It can also be used to capture subtle details in shallow coastal waters, helping scientists track sediment levels and study water quality near shores. As we move to the right on the spectrum, we come to bands 6 and 7, right at the edge of the visible light range. These new bands are designed to uncover hidden details in water bodies, like tracking the spread of algal blooms, or measuring the amount of suspended sediment in rivers and lakes. By measuring how light interacts with particles in the water, these bands provide valuable insights into water quality and ecosystem health. And by detecting the color of the algal pigment, Landsat Next will be able to spot toxic algal blooms, which can contaminate drinking water, harm aquatic life, and pose serious health risks to humans. While bands 6 and 7 focus on the quality of our water systems, bands 5, 9, and 10 shift our attention to the land, specifically the plants that sustain life on Earth. These bands span the visible and near-infrared ranges of the spectrum and are designed to dive deep into the details of vegetation health, allowing scientists to measure key indicators like the chlorophyll levels, nitrogen content in plants, and the leaf area index 
a measurement of the total leaf surface area relative to the ground area. With this critical information, we can detect early signs of plant stress, such as drought or nutrient deficiencies, even before they become visible. Bands 13 through 16 take us higher, revealing critical insights about our atmosphere and the snow-covered landscapes of our planet. These bands are windows into the skies and snowy terrains of Earth, measuring atmospheric water vapor, an important factor for adjusting and enhancing the accuracy of satellite imagery. By understanding how water vapor affects light, scientists can ensure the data collected from other bands is clear and precise. These bands also provide detailed insights into snow grain size and surface conditions, helping us monitor snowpack levels and melting patterns, information vital for predicting water availability in regions that depend on snow-fed rivers. Bands 19 through 21, situated in the shortwave infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, bring us back down to Earth, uncovering the hidden stories in soil, plants, and agricultural practices. These bands are finely tuned to detect specific light absorption patterns that reveal the presence of cellulose in plant material. This unique capability allows scientists to monitor crop residues left on fields after harvest, which is a key practice in conservation tillage. By tracking these residues, we can assess how much organic material is being returned to the soil a critical factor in soil health and carbon sequestration. Healthy soils not only support sustainable agriculture, but also play a vital role in combating climate change by locking away carbon that would otherwise enter the atmosphere. Moving into the thermal infrared region of the spectrum, bands 22 through 26 turn up the heat, providing groundbreaking insights into surface temperatures and the hidden compositions of Earth's materials. These bands provide incredibly accurate heat measurements that are essential for studying urban heat islands, drought conditions, and agricultural water use. But these bands don't stop at temperature. They also detect subtle variations in how different materials, like soil and rocks, reflect thermal energy, making them invaluable for mapping mineral deposits, analyzing land composition, and studying the effects of natural resource extraction. From coastal water quality to vegetation health, soil composition, and precise surface temperatures, the added spectral bands of Landsat Next will unlock a world of new possibilities and new science. Each band is like a unique lens, providing deeper insights into the complexities of our planet. Whether it's monitoring the health of crops, tracking atmospheric changes, assessing soil carbon, or uncovering mineral resources, with Landsat Next, we're not just adding new bands we're building on the legacy of other Landsat missions and enhancing our ability to understand our planet. Whether it's tracking algal blooms or monitoring snowpack, the added spectral bands on Landsat Next will open doors to a future where we can monitor, understand, and protect Earth like never before. Landsat has always been our window into Earth's story. And with Landsat Next, that story is about to get clearer and more colorful than ever.